welcome back to Creative Discovery in Paint Shop Pro. In this video, we're going to be having a look at a font manager called FontBase. This is a very simple but powerful program. Years ago, I used a font manager called The Font Thing, but it's no longer compatible with my computer, so I had to look around for another one to take its place. I discovered FontBase and I was actually really, really happy with this one. It is a free program. You can also have a subscription or you can buy it outright if you want the extra features that it comes with. But I have the free version and I am very happy with just that. You do not have to install any of the fonts that you have on your computer. You can just activate them in this program and they will be available for any program you're using anywhere on your computer, including PaintShop Pro. Okay, let's go over and have a look at it. This is what font base looks like when you first open it. It has a very simple interface and it displays all the fonts installed on your system so you can easily manage them. You can create multiple folders for keeping your fonts and you can also add things to your favorites folder. Okay, let's have a look at all of the aspects from the top. This is the organize icon which gives you this interface. It shows all of the fonts that you have access to in font base at the moment. So I have 6419. This is the recent ones that I have opened and looked at. This is your favorites. So far I've only put two in there. I'll show you how to put more. This is your active fonts at the moment. I don't have any active fonts. If I did this would be green. This is the inactive fonts. So the whole lot. This is collections, you can make your own collections. So if you want to make a new collection, you just type in there and you name your collection. I'm going to name it Curlies. Let's have a look in here. Let's see if there's a curly one. These have got curlies. Now, all you have to do is just drag that font over into there. And there you have a curly font in your curly collection. And you can make as many collections as you want. These are the providers. Now font base comes with 3,795 Google fonts. So even if you open your font base for the first time and you don't have any fonts in there, you will have these ones. Now these are your folders. I have so far placed my A, B, C, D, G and S folders in here. I have many more to come. Let's do one. Before you add a folder, don't have any of these selected or folder will actually be a subfolder. Let's find my folders on the computer. Here they are. Let's add. I haven't got E, so select the E and I'll press the select. And there they are. They're all there. It was pretty quick. 212 fonts in immediately. So that's how easy it is to add them. Okay, let's have a look over here. This feature is only available in Font Base Awesome. That is the pay version. We'll talk about that later. What I'm showing you is the completely free version. This is your color choices. Black font on a white background. I've got them aligned over to the left, so they're all lined up over here. Okay, this will show you the size that your fonts can be. So you slide that. It's 30 pixels at the moment. Now, if you have a look through here, and then when you're choosing your pixel size in PaintShop Pro, you'll find that not all pixels that are 30 pixels high are going to be the same. When you just scan through here, some are a lot smaller than others. So when you're choosing the size in your PaintShop Pro, you really need to adjust to what is going to fit into your project. This little heart over here will make it a favorite. So if I click on that, I have two fonts in my favorites folder at the moment. So I click on this little heart. This is Echo Deco. So now you'll find there's three favorites and one of them is Echo Deco. So it's very easy to add fonts to your favorite. If I don't wish that to be a favorite anymore, just click on it and it's gone out of the favorites folder. Okay, let's have a look in here, this Curly's folder, which I am not going to keep. I am going to delete it, but this isn't really a Curly font, so it doesn't belong here. So click on it, grab it and drag it to the right. And then there's a little rubbish bin here. So you drop fonts and remove them from the collection. So 
that one's now gone you have to activate it first so it's purple then grab it and drop it over here where the rubbish bin is I am actually going to delete this whole font by right clicking and delete the whole font collection I don't tend to use collections but if you want to use a collection you can do it that way I will use my folders and I will place the ones that I regularly use into the favorites and most likely select my fonts from the favorites okay let's continue looking down here this again is only a font base awesome feature I'm not sure what it even is because I don't have the pay version this here is a preview of some text that you can play around with and do something with this is coming soon this is the settings and you can change these things here I wouldn't go changing this too much unless you know what you're doing with your computer um, and these settings down below are only for the pay version these text samples are sentences that you can have to show what your fonts are so if you don't like this first one which which is the default one you can change it to one of these others so to do that go back to your organized folder and down the bottom here you can see this is the sentence that is the default one now there's a little triangle over here click on that click on the sentence you would like and it's changed okay well that's about it for showing you what font base does so if you wish to take advantage of the extra features click on one of those icons that will take you to their page now you have a monthly subscription or you can subscribe for a year or you can pay a one-off fee and have it forever I can't tell you what the extra features are in the awesome version because I don't have it but the free version is excellent if you wanted to pay three dollars a month and find out what the extra awesome features are then you would know whether it was for you to keep that because three dollars is probably not a lot to spend to find that out if you wish to to use a font that you want to have in paint shop pro if you decide we're going to use this font here you're going to activate that one and that font will be available all you do then is minimize this program and then open paint shop pro and this font will be available for you in paint shop pro when you have finished with it bring font base back up and deactivate it and then it's no longer available for you well i hope you enjoyed looking at font base and if you did please give the video a thumbs up also please subscribe you'll find the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen so until i see you again in the next lesson have fun keep practicing in paint shop pro and bye for now